going to show you how we uh, use a breadfruit to create a vegetable with our dishes. The breadfruit has been picked this morning fresh from the tree and to know that it is ripe and ready to be cooked where the milk has produced little white nobules and where the fruit is starting to turn into a browny colour like so. So it's beginning to be ripe. When we take it from the tree it is, has a stalk like so which is handy for holding. But I'm going to show you this one and what I shall do is I'm going to take a knife and then I'm going to cut it simply in half like so being careful I don't cut myself in the process because it's a firm hard fruit so we now have the fruit like so and I'm going to cut it into a quarter. I'll only do the one. And there, the fruit is now ready to put into the pot. So we take that and we put it into a pot just as we would do with potatoes making sure that the water is just above the fruit and boil it until it's soft enough to penetrate with a knife. Okay so the breadfruit is now cut into pieces and we've put it into the pan ready to cook and it's been pushed down and we now take a piece of salt fish we've cut the tail off and it's a piece of cod that is salted and it is frozen and we take this traditional piece of dish and we put it in with the breadfruit and that is now all ready to go on the cooker ready for it to heat up so I'm going to move it over to the cooker and then we put the fire underneath it and the cooker is on and we put the lid on the top so that's that stage now what we didn't put into it is any salt the salt in the salt fish is adequate to salt the material to, to salt the food okay our videoing didn't go to plan but what we've got here and we've uh, taken the salt fish which we've boiled we've put it in with onion garlic uh, with some green yellow and red peppers some chilies some chives and also some celery those we sweated down and now we're mixing it uh, in with the salt fish to start finishing on finishing off this part of the dish okay as you can see we've still got the salt fish in the frying pan we've added to it some uh, pesto and some tomato puree and the pesto we make from our own ingredients and they've all come out of the fridge ready to uh, in there ready to get the flavor now whilst that is still cooking I'm going to turn and peel the breadfruit here I am, I've got the breadfruit there, as you know that's already been cooked and I just carefully with this sharp knife trim that off just as if I was doing a, a, a boiled potato with its skin on. Now this is my first experience of peeling a breadfruit. So it's not as sweet as if I was an experienced St. Lucian. There we are. 
Now that's uh, trimmed. Now I take this, we take this piece here out. And we then slice it down into pieces. And my knife is a little too small for that. And we take out everything we don't need. I'm not making a good job of slicing it, but that's how we slice it up ready for the final dish. Okay. And now we put this onto the plate ready to go and be served up. I'm no doubt that uh, that could be better chopped up but for a first time experience I'm just trying to show you how it works. Okay and here we are with the next part of the dish Where do you want to put that on it? And the salt fish all mixed with its various herbs already and I take it across to the dish ready to add uh, to join the breadfruit. Okay, and I put that down I'm coming back. And I take some juice and I put that juice in there. And I'm going to leave it at that spot there. You see the principle. And here you can see where we've cooked the saltfish. And there's the breadfruit and avocado taken from our garden. And that's it, the dish now ready for the guest. Okay, now this is going to be a little hot for me, I like my food on the colder side. There we are, that's it.